HealthyHappyLife.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite fall beverages. It combines a pumpkin spice latte with eggnog, but it's vegan, and it's pumpkin nog. It's filled with warm fall spices, a creamy cashew base, and pure pumpkin. It's just so good. So, we're going to get started. First thing you want to do is you want to soak some raw cashews in water overnight or at least for eight hours. One, two, so about one and a half to two tablespoons of these soaked cashews. Next thing you want to add is pure pumpkin puree. This is unsweetened pumpkin puree. can see about one heaping tablespoon of this pumpkin puree. Next thing you want to add to your blender is vanilla extract. Just about an eighth teaspoon of vanilla extract. I add in a mixture of fall spices. I'll do about a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, um, eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, Sometimes I'll add in ginger powder. You can also do plain old cinnamon, which most people usually have around. And then a couple dashes of oops, nutmeg. Just keep pouring. <laughs> Trust me, this is, you can play around with these. Who's a dog barking? I'm sorry. Then I like to add in a pinch of sea salt. So a little pinch of sea salt in there brings out the sweet flavors. One and a half cups of almond milk, soy milk, any non-dairy milk. So that's it. We have our blender filled with all the goodness. You'll notice I did not put any sweetener in. That's because I add the sweetener very last and I sweeten to taste. Put the lid on. It smells amazing right now. I wish you guys could smell this. If you soaked your cashews long enough, they'll blend into a creamy, creamy, silky texture within like seconds. So that will be the judge of your cashew soaking skills. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out this. This is some soy whip. I'm gonna put some soy whip on today because we're being fancy for the video. Now, you could serve this chilled. You could serve chilled pumpkin nog, which is delicious. But today, I'm gonna warm it up and serve it warm. Turn on your stove. Pour the blended goodness. And then we're just gonna simmer it to a sizzling warm boil until it's it's just under a boil. <laughs> Can you tell I have no script today? I'm just winging it. This is grade B maple syrup. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon or two. Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> Adding a lid will make this go faster. So you add a lid to your pan. That'll make it warm up faster. <laughs> A really, really helpful cooking tip, I know. Take our mug. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> and then, <laughs> wait. Yay. Then we get our lovely soy whip, because why not? And you can use homemade coconut whip too. Sorry, this is a new can. Ready? This is the best part. Oops. <laughs> okay, failing. All right, that's not terribly pretty, but there. Okay. Gorgeous pumpkin nog. Oh my God, I forgot to sweeten it. <laughs> I totally forgot to sweeten it, guys. That's okay, because it still tastes really good, actually. Because the 
soy whip pulps. But <laughs> don't forget to add the sweetener if you want it sweet. One to two teaspoons of sweetener will do it. But I'm just gonna have it like this because this is actually really good. This on me. <laughs> I apologize for the length of this video and also the unprofessionalism of it but I promise I will be getting a hang of doing better videos in my kitchen, my little kitchen set up here.